Guys, today we're gonna to take a look at the Microtech LUDT. Uh, this is a side opening automatic knife. Microtech, along with Benchmade, actually revived the interest in automatic knives. Uh, out the front knives, of course, are cool and they're great, but really a side opening like this is my personal favorite. Uh, they're just easy to use, they're just solid. Uh, Microtech started out in Vera Beach, Florida back in 1994. Uh, they moved up to Bradford, Pennsylvania, and then their headquarters now is in Fletcher, North Carolina, which is about an hour from where I'm sitting. And guys, I want to thank Microtech for sending this little LUDT. Uh, we were down at the Iraq Veteran Shoot, and I ran into a good friend of mine, Ray Helms, who actually works with Microtech, and he said, Don, if this is the knife you'll carry, I'm going to give it to you. And I said, bring it. Now, the Microtech LUDT is a, an automatic knife. It's a side opening knife, and that means it just comes out of the side, obviously. Uh, different from the front opening knife, which comes out right from the front. Now, most of the out front for civilians have a spring in here, so once it hits something, it disables the spring and it kind of bounces back. Uh, there are models that are available for law enforcement and military and other first responders that actually do not have the safety and are made more for a self-defense option. And uh, those are available at Microtech. Uh, you have to get in touch with them with a you know law enforcement letterhead or whatever, and uh, you can get those. But as far as civilian use, there's still a lot of counties and states and different areas that don't allow for automatic knives, so you need to check that out before you purchase one. Now, one of the things that I love about this knife, though, is that it is solid. I mean, when it comes out, it comes out just very solid. Uh, it has a spring coil system in here, and so it just really shoots it out. Right here is your push button. We're going to go ahead and close it again. Now, one thing you want to do is get a good hold on the back of your hand because it does pop out pretty violently almost. Uh, it's very manageable, but it does come out pretty strong. So if you're holding it up here, I mean, you can see how it shakes. But when you're bringing it back, there's tension all the way until you get right there. And guys, these knives are super sharp. Right out of the box. My gosh, that's sharp. This is cardstock. Wow. Now, I wanted to bring in my EDC that I've been carrying for years, probably about six or seven years, the Benchmade Barrage. And uh, this is an assisted opening knife. But man, does that come out fast. <laughs> Very strong lockup, great knife. Unfortunately, Benchmade kind of, you know, has done some things that I don't really agree with politically. And so I've just put this knife away. I no longer carry it. I'm not getting rid of it because I'm always open to redemption. <laughs> but as far as carrying this and supporting Benchmade, that's just not my call. Um, you know, some people will and they don't care and that's fine. But for me, that's just what I do. Now, one thing that I did though, replace it with was one of the Gerber fastballs. And man, this is not even an assisted opening knife, but it has the bronze bushings. Man, is that thing smooth. Really like this knife. And honestly, I did a video on my Sensible Prepper channel saying that this was my new EDC. And really, that's what my intention was. I really like this knife. It's made in the USA. It's got some real high-quality steel, S30V. Just a great little knife. Uh, but really, when it comes down to it, the choice between these two, this is just a much more exceptional knife. I mean, not just that it's faster opening, because really, the uh, fastball is quick. But the quality and the way this thing feels in your hand is just phenomenal. The coating on the scales is actually a black NDLC coating, uh, so it's really going to hold up very well. Uh, the finish also on the blade is kind of a little bit of an anodized or a matte finish. I just think that this knife is absolutely beautiful. I love that blue sheen right there, even though this is, again, really supposed to be black but it gives it a really quality, classy look to it. One thing about the button is that it is recessed enough to where there's no safety on this knife, which I hate those things. Uh, even here on the Benchmade Barrage, it has a little safety, and I have inadvertently popped it and then couldn't open the knife. Because the button is kind of recessed down, you have to really mean to hit it. And for the past couple of weeks, me carrying it, it's never even come close to coming out. I mean, there needs to be some pressure applied to it directly. And so, uh, and that was by design. So this to me is a very safe knife to carry in your pocket. 
This is made from 204P steel. And uh, a premium steel, it's actually the carpenter version of M390 or 20CV. And they're really the same steel properties. It's just that it's carpenter's version. Uh, now these knives are also made at times in the M390 or the LMAX. And it's just according to the steel that they have on hand. Uh, and so, but right now the, the 204P is what they're making them and it is a limited run. One of the things about Microtech is that they do limited runs for certain things. Uh, and different colors, different finishes, even different styles. So if you see something you really want, you probably want to go ahead and pick it up. Now this does have the aluminum scales, and uh, you can see the grooves in here, and it does give you a nice, good texturing. Uh, and then, of course, we have this little small lanyard that comes off the back. It's not paracord. I really kind of like that. And uh, you have your lanyard loop. But one of the big things about this, the body of this is the finish on the edges. The chamfering is, like, incredible. I mean, it molds in your hand, much different than a lot of knives, you know, that I've held. I mean, it's just got this really smooth feel to it. Even on the spine, the spine right here is crowned, and it's just really nice. I mean, you can see there's no flat edge. You've got nice jimping right here, and then it just comes down into a pretty decent tip. It is a drop point blade. And uh, I really like the belly on this blade. Now here we have engraved, laser engraved on the blade, L Underwater Demolition Team, which the L actually stands for large. Uh, serial number, and then we have the data manufacturer. And these are made in the USA. Again, they're made in Fletcher, North Carolina, and in Bradford, Pennsylvania. They have two manufacturing facilities. Now, one of the big things about this knife is that a lot of custom knife makers have said that Microtech makes the same quality as most of your handmade knives because the tolerances are so tight. The centering is perfect. In fact, that's one of the big things that Microtech strives for is to have super tight tolerances. And you can feel it. And I'm going to show you. When you pop this out, there is no, pl I mean, it is super solid. The blade fit, I mean, it is rigid. You even have a little bit of jimping right here at the top, and right here at the choil, we have a little bit. And so you're able to get a good grip on the knife, on the blade handle, and then the way it kind of curves down, which there's also jimping back here. And then we have just some relief holes here instead of just an open design. Now one of the things about an automatic knife, especially side opening, is that it comes out really fast. One-handed, no problem. In fact, it's really easy. But when you're going to close it one-handed, it's going to be difficult unless you have something to brace it on. But of course, you can bring it down this way. But it deploys super fast. Now, another thing you're going to notice are these unusual fasteners. And they're definitely different. And this is a proprietary fastener. You're not going to be able to take these on and off. Uh, that is just the way that it was designed. They don't want you to get into it. And you can send it back to Microtech and they can do anything you need to. But... That is just one of the things. Some people don't like it. Uh, I personally am not planning to get into this knife, especially with that spring coil. Uh, I don't want to mess it up. But uh, for cleaning, and really, it should be good to go. But uh, if you ever need anything, you can definitely just send it back to Microtech. Here we got the clip. It is in one position, tip up, right side, that's it. I mean, that's the only place that it has holes. And of course, you do have the proprietary fasteners anyway. Uh, the clip is a fairly deep pocket clip kind of pops up at the end. But uh, I've found that this is super easy to carry in my pocket. And I've been carrying this now for about two weeks. And um, man, I'm gonna tell you, it's, it's just a dream. The overall length is eight and a quarter inches. The blade is about three and a half inches. The cutting surface is about three and a quarter inches. Guys, if you're gonna carry an automatic, you really need to check out your local laws to make sure. And they can vary even in cities and certain municipalities. And the weight on the Microtech LUDT, 3.6 ounces. Benchmade Barrage, 4.2 ounces. I've always considered this to be a very lightweight option. And the Gerber Fastball, 2.6 ounces. But it is a small knife. This is still a really excellent knife. But this is world class. Now guys, when it comes to your EDC, I am very particular because I like the things that I like. It's something that I'm carrying with me all the time, and I want the best. 
I want what's comfortable for me, but I want good quality. And of course, I'm going to add the Microtech LEDT. I've already added it actually for the past couple of weeks. And this is going to be something that is you're going to see for the next few years because this is just a it's just a really incredible knife. I also carry one of the Olight i3T EOS. I carry some different ones, but this seems to be the one that I'm really carrying because of the size and it's in this limited bronze edition. I'm really a big fan of Olight as you all know. With the Leatherman Squirt and uh, this is just a small multi-tool. I have not over the years carried a multi-tool regularly, but because of the size of this one, I like it. My iPhone with a Magpul cover on it. A little leather wallet that I picked up at Rock City up in outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee. A little custom leather shop there. And as soon as I saw this little wallet, I thought, I want that. And I have loved it. Uh, and, you know, I, it's just compact. It's cool. It's easy. Uh, the key bar... Guys, I'm telling you, the key bar is great. Now, this one's copper. It's heavy. But they make them in the aluminum. And the guys at Key Bar are just top-notch. And, of course, all my other keys. One thing I will want to, do want to show you, though, is this little Griffin tool that I do like. And Casey, uh, just a great guy that makes these. And uh, this is a great little tool to have. A lot of different functions and features on it. And then, of course, my SIG P365. I've been carrying it. I kind of stepped away from the Glock a little bit. Uh, the 10 round magazine capacity is just hard to pass up for this size. And uh, this one has had now over 2,000 rounds without one malfunction. This is just a great option for concealed carry. And then this is something new. This is the Armor Guard holsters, little Kydex holster, very well finished. And my good friend Pete over at the Armory channel is now making these. I highly recommend you check them out. We're going to be doing a review on these. I've got one, and then I've also got a G19 holster for it. But a great little holster. But guys, whatever you put together for your EDC, this is what you're carrying. This is what's on your body. And to me, these are some items that you don't need to skimp on. Sometimes you want to make it a little smaller and easier to carry. But as far as that, to me, this is important. It's your everyday carry. Guys, if you want to see a real torture test of this knife, because it will stand up to whatever you put to it, uh, check out X-Ring YouTube channel. My good friend Ray Helms, he goes and does a lot of different things with this knife and just shows how sharp it remains no matter what you put it through. And not only that, toward the end, he actually splits a 40 caliber bullet by shooting it right into the blade. I mean, it's just incredible. And I'll have it annotated right here above and, of course, down in the description as well. And Ray also has a lot of cool videos on his channel, so check out X-Ring. Now, being a high-quality assisted opening knife made right here in the USA, you know, these aren't cheap. Uh, they run between about $250, $260, according to where you can find them. And so, one of the big things about these knives, though, guys, is they run these in limited runs. A lot of times with limited steel, different styles, colors, and uh, that's one of the reasons why these are so sought after. A lot of collectors love to buy these knives. And so if you find something you really like, you probably want to go ahead and buy it. Uh, it does come again in the serrations or not. And uh, there's a number of different models to choose from. But uh, to me, the LUDT is my pick. And I did pick it. <laughs> this is a beautiful knife. And Microtech is well known for its quality. So check it out, Microtech. And again, I want to thank those guys for sending the knife uh, and giving it to me for this test and evaluation and not only that as my regular EDC this thing is just fantastic and if you ever get one in your hands you'll know what I'm talking about be strong be of good courage God bless America long live the Republic custom leather holster maker or custom leather maker custom leather shop and uh, I just love this little simple holster uh, holster it's a hole it's not a holster <laughs> you like my holster it's my money holster you know L your EDC is just okay it's something your LDC is your LDC it's the EDC LDC LUDT the overall length is just about an inch <laughs> the overall length is an inch I have little small hands <laughs> two pounds six, two pounds six ounces. <laughs>